Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jackie and today I am here to do my August wrap up. So in the month of August I read a total of 10 books which is, means I had another great reading month and I'm so excited about it. I participated in one readathon this month and overall it was just a really great reading month. I am so excited to talk about all the books I read with you guys so I'm going to jump right in and get started. So the first book I read this month was Clockwork Angel which is book one in the Inferno Places series by Cassandra Clare. This is a prequel series to The Immortal Intimates, which I've been reading for about a month and a half now, and I really, really enjoyed this book. It takes place in the 1800s in Victorian London, which is a period I have never read from before, and I really want to read more. I loved Clockwork Angel. It was so good. I am enjoying The Infernal Devices so much more than I am in The Immortal Intimates series. I will jump more into detail about that in a second, but overall, really great book, and I gave it a 4 out of 5 stars. The next book I read this month was the 15th of June. It was by Brent Jones. This is a contemporary novel. It's an adult contemporary novel that follows our main character who has been suffering from alcohol addiction for some time and then he learns his father has cancer and is in the late stages of that cancer. And he is pretty much the entire book is uh, following him who is trying to overcome addiction while dealing with his father's illness. And it really hit home for me. I have had family members who have recently passed away from cancer. And I know the struggle of kind of what this character is going through. So it really hit home to me. I really enjoyed the story. I really wanted to read more from this author. I highly recommend you guys go pick this up. I gave it a 4.5 out of 5 stars. The next book was another book I was sent to for review by the author. So thank you so much to this author for sending me this. And this is a book is called NSA. This is by Benny Nilon. This is an adult uh, political thriller, sometimes dystopian book that follows the NSA, as it says in the title. And pretty much the NSA has been some big political uproar. It's pretty much the entire book is just it coming apart, and it's really, really good. I gave it a 3.5 out of 5 stars. I don't really no normally read from a political thriller, but with that combined with the dystopian aspects is what really made me enjoy it, and I highly recommend you guys pick this up as well. The next one, the next book I read is City of Fallen Angels, which is book four in the Immortal Interest series by Cassandra Clare. Like I said a little bit earlier, I've been reading this series for about a month and a half now, and I am not enjoying the series as much as I was when I read the first three books. My love for the series has just kind of gone kind of like this. It's kind of been a roller coaster ride. It's had its ups and downs. I really, for the most part, I really enjoyed the first three books in the series, but when I got to this book, I just could have cared less. I'm still going to continue on. I did enjoy the plot, but it's mostly the characters, and I'm going to do a whole review on the series once I finish it up, and I'll talk more into detail about why the, some of the characters bother me, but I ended up giving this book a 3.5 out of 5 stars. And then I got into the books I read for Tome Topple. I will link those vlogs I did down below if you guys would like to check those out. I read two out of the four books I had on my TBR, so I did pretty decent. The first book I read for Tome Topple was The Red Pyramid. This is book one in the King Chronicles trilogy by Rick Riordan. I have actually previously started this book when I was a freshman in high school. I didn't really get into it back then, but I reread it this year and I really enjoyed it. I kind of think I enjoyed it more this time because I knew what Riordan's writing style was like. Kind of knew what to expect going in. It's very different than his other books. This falls to uh, a brother and sister who have uh, grown up as the children of an archaeologist and one of them, they're after their mother dies, one of them goes off to live with their grandparents in England and the other one stays behind with his father and travels around the world. One day they are reunited on Christmas Eve and the, their father awakens from the Egyptian gods and is kind of sent away and the sister and brother, their names are Sadie and Carter, kind of have to figure out why this is all happening. It's really, really good. It's not my favorite out of Ricky Warren's books, but I still thoroughly enjoyed it. I gave it a 4 out of 5 stars. The next one I read was the Peru's Utopia Book Club Book of the Month, or the month of July, or August, excuse me. In that book is The Last Magician. This is by Lisa Maxwell. This is a YA fantasy novel that I believe is standalone, but I would love to have more in this world. It follows our main character who lives in uh, New York City, and magic is all but extinct in this world. 
there is kind of a magical wall that prevents any magicians from leaving the city and it, our main character, her name is Estet, has the ability to stop time and she has to travel back to the early 1900s to steal a book. She can steal pretty much everything and she gets into all types of situations and it is really good. I didn't know what to expect going in. I didn't know if I was really going to like it. It is a little slow getting into the book. But once the plot really picks up, it's very, very enjoyable. I enjoyed it for the most part and I give it a 4 out of 5 stars. The next book I read was another book by Cassandra Clare that is Clockwork Prince book 2 in the Front of the Devices series by Cassandra Clare. I had very similar thoughts on this book as I did with Clockwork Angel. Again, this is a 4 star read for me. Really, really enjoyed it. The series is definitely, in my opinion, a lot better than the Moral Inter series. I said that earlier. It's just so much better and I gave this again a 4 out of 5 stars. The next one I am so excited to talk about. So one of my goals for this year was to read I think five graphic novels or manga and I finally did pick up a graphic novel this year or this month I should say and I'm really excited to talk about because it it's very popular here on booktube and that is Saga Volume 1 and this is by Brian K. Vaughn and Fiona Staples. This is a dull and emphasis on adult uh, science fiction graphic novel series that follows a young family as they struggle. Uh, the mother and the father have got married but they are on opposing sides of a war. They got married, had a child, and pretty much the entire government is trying to go after them. It's really, really good. Very hyped up here in Booktube. I can definitely say why. I can. I just really, really enjoyed this book. I gave it a 4 out of 5 stars. And the next one I read this month was my favorite book I think I've read this entire year. It's one of my most anticipated releases. For this year and I finally read it and that book was A Court of Wings and Ruin by Sarah J Maas. This is book three in the A Court of Thrones and Roses series by Sarah J Maas. I absolutely loved it. I was really nervous going in because I know there was a lot of controversy surrounding this book and its representation of the LGBTQ plus community but I'll be honest and I have will have a full review on my blog later today about it. I, I was just blown away by this book. It was exactly what I wanted for a conclusion to this series. I don't know if this is exactly the conclusion. I believe that this is the conclusion to this part of the series, but there's going to be other books set in this world from what I can understand. I just absolutely loved it. If you guys have not picked up this series yet, please go do so. It's very, very good. Highly recommend. I gave this book a 5 out of 5 stars. And the last book I read this month was a book I got from net galley as an arc and this comes out i believe on september 12th and this is the dreadful tale of prosper reading this is by alexandra bracken this is the first book i've actually read by alexandra bracken i know she has two series out besides this one which was the darkest minds and the passenger duology and definitely i am now gonna pick up more of her books this is a middle grade fantasy novel that follows our main character prosper who learns that his great 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 grandfather has broken a deal with the demon and now that demon is living inside him. Wow, it blew me away. This story takes place in a town that is very similar to Salem, Massachusetts, which is about 45 minutes south of where I live, which of course, of course that's gonna make me like the story even more. He grew up in this town. His grandmother is the mayor of the town. It's really, really cool definitely has that witchy aspect there is he does actually travel to Salem later in the book but I loved it so highly recommend you guys pick this up it comes out on September 12th like I said go pick it up when it hits and that's all I'm happy to see you guys I hope you guys enjoyed if you should be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you have not already I'll be sure to have all my social media links linked down below if you guys would like to check me out on Twitter Instagram Goodreads or my blog they are all linked down below as always and I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day and I will see you guys in the next video very very soon. So thank you for watching everybody. Bye!